So we bought our smaller trailer knowing that we wanted to do more adventurous type camping, RVing, going to more remote locations. But also we bought it knowing that it's a true four season. So Northwood makes Nash and Arctic Fox. And then they have kind of like a sister company known as Outdoors RV. I mean, you know, it's owned by Northwood, but operated independently. Anyways, our whole underbelly is sealed, which a lot of people say, well, my underbelly sealed too. But what's really cool about ours is I was under there doing some wiring and they have insulation this thick and then it's sealed. The way they route their heater ducting, it runs right by the tanks. So you have no freezing issues whatsoever. The knife valves for the tanks are in the underbelly so they stay heated. And on top of that, for snow loads on the roof of your RV, they do their centers. So their cross beams are on 16 inch center, which is like pretty standard for when we are building a house. But the industry standard for RVs, as far as my knowledge and as far as I was informed, is 24 inch. So they tend to make RVs lighter, which makes sense because you're towing. Um, but Northwood doesn't do that. They do 16 inch centers instead of 24. And then as well, they use 3 8 inch plywood on the roof. So it's super sturdy. I was talking to them about it because we got nervous about our snow load. And they're like, it won't snow enough. Like it can't snow enough to affect the roof of your trailer. So we're pretty excited about that. We're staying toasty. And so far the new travel trailer is very nice. What are your thoughts on, on the snow camping, the trailer, being able to mooch dock a little bit more because we're smaller? Yeah. What are your uh, thoughts? I'm stoked on it because this is one of the big reasons that we wanted to get a small trailer. I really wanted to go snowboarding and go to the, go to the snow. And we're getting exactly that. It looks like we're in the dead of winter right now, but Spring. it's actually April. So it's nice. We're like chasing the end of winter and uh, and then it's going to turn to spring pretty soon here. So we're getting like a good taste of it without having to like commit to a super long time in the snow. Whoa! Jesse almost <laughs> just slipped on ice. <laughs> and um, <laughs> it's really nice to be able to mooch stock because we've had multiple issues in the past trying to stay at people's houses and uh, and not being able to fit. So it's just opened up a lot of opportunity to go to new places and to visit friends yeah just to be smaller more maneuverable which is awesome this is another potential issue with the toy hauler is we never would have been able to get it down this driveway one and two we wouldn't have been able to fit there so you know we're visiting our friends on this like in this mountain area in colorado the toy hauler just would not have happened i mean we would have the trees we would have probably slid off the side of this embankment and we would have froze because our froze. toy hauler is like made out of paper. <sighs> yeah, it was not a very super well insulated rig, um, but that's the benefit of something like this is the insulation is like that thick. We were trying to figure out what we were going to do today for an activity because we got this great dumping of snow and we decided to go down to a local store here and we rented some snowshoes. We're going up to this area. It's called Geneva Gulch, I believe. I'm not too familiar with the area. Obviously, we're not from around here. But our game plan is to hike up and potentially board down. We chose this activity because we have a friend coming that is pregnant, so she couldn't really snowboard, but hiking is totally fine. And we are bringing a little one and a half year old with us too. So should be an interesting day. We're really excited. And, I don't know, it's just fun doing snow stuff. We got time on our side We're in a state of hope I need you on my fire I want you to know That every time you're away I long for you so much I can find my way Everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile Got this place on Do you feel that we got something strong? 
We made it to Duck Creek Picnic Ground here in Pike National Forest. And we're gearing up to go do some snowshoeing. Good amount of fresh snow the other night. I think we got like 10 inches. We're close to an area where you can ski, but snowboarding, no. Yeah, you can it's do not, cross country. It's not steep enough. But um, we'll probably be leaving the boards and we'll just do some hiking today. Yeah, I think we need to get split boards though. That might really be the, the next best thing. Might be worth it to sell the snowboards and get split boards. Might be worth it. Yeah, it's sell our snowboards for like 50 cents. They're worth more than that. <sighs> what are we doing, babe? We are going snowshoeing. Trying to get strapped in here? I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing because I don't know what I'm doing. Crystal? Yeah. How are you doing? I'm all right. Travis, the child. How you doing, Carson? Carson. Hey, buddy. Can't even see your eyeballs in there. How's it feel, babe? So it's a lot easier than Nordic skiing, I'll tell you that. Yeah. It's different because we have these short skis, or shoes, and we're in deeper powder. Whereas last time we were on icy trail conditions. But it's pretty fun, huh guys? It's a little different than hiking. It's a little different. I like it. Yeah, it's cool. I tried Nordic. Oh, we tried Nordic. Nordic is very hard. Nordic's hard when it's icy. We were on an icy trail though, so this is a little bit better. It, it might seem kind of boring through video. We're gonna try to make it as fun as we can, but when you're here, it's just like so calm. It's like majestic, beautiful scenery. All you hear is the no the noise of the the snow squishing in. Occasionally, you hear hear a crow up there, and it's just really really cool. It's a cool experience. I didn't think it would be this fun to be honest. Copy. And uh, just record me. Yes. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Hey, stay there, buddy. Stop moving. What's up, Carson? Hi. A few moments later. Are you excited about the coney dog? I am. We found this on Atlas Obscura, and I'm really excited to try it. Are you going to get a coney dog? Bad. Yeah, of course I am. When in Rome, right? <laughs> 